Game Emails. I hope you had a good week. I had a, uh, it was an odd week. Monday or Tuesday, I posted an article about Facebook freebooting, the practice of people downloading original content from YouTube and re-uploading it to Facebook as their own content. And I was kind of surprised that when I posted the article, the amount of negative comments I got about that. People essentially defending the practice, seeing that there's either nothing wrong with it or kind of like, well, people are gonna steal things so there's no sense in fighting. What's really gonna have to happen is what happened to YouTube a few years ago is when it affected the music industry or Hollywood and they clamped down on them. And then of course it was April Fool's Day and I'm sure a lot of you saw Matthias Wandel's video that he did parodying my videos. <laughs> People think that there's this big rivalry between us, but there really isn't. In fact, Matthias Wandel is my favorite YouTube woodworker. I never miss one of his videos, and, and I consider him a friend. And he showed me that video about a week before he posted it, and uh, he, he said, I'm just gonna apologize in advance for this. And I thought it was really funny. And I thought it would be fun if I posted a video also parodying his videos. And I had all intentions of doing that, but I just I just didn't have enough time to put together anything. Anything I was thinking of was just kind of coming across as mean spirited, and I didn't want that. Also, it's just it's hard to parody someone who has a lot of tools and has high level skills. It's easier the other way around. It's easier to parody somebody without a lot of skills. In other words, for me to do a parody of Matthias, I would need to build some sort of a fancy contraption you know, to do a simple task or something like that. But really, as somebody who takes the time to make a parody of me, I find flattering. Then I posted my tomato planting video over on Home and Garden Premier Mortals. I hope you had a chance to see that. I, I plan on shooting more of those throughout the summer, progress reports and showing you some of the things that I do to my tomato pa plants. <laughs> I almost said tomato pants. Throughout the year, throughout the summer. Tips, tricks tomato growing. Oh, and I want to thank Per Almered again for the Princess Meow Meow theme, which was featured in the entire video yesterday. I featured it the week before in just little bits and pieces, but it was really fun because in yesterday's video, people were commenting on it. They recognized that song, and I think it's the best work that Per has done. I just love that song. It's just the the perfect feel for my show, I think. It's just the right amount of quirkiness and Lighthearted, it's bouncy, and anyway, thanks again, Per. It's great. Let's talk about the crosscut sled. The most common comment I received had to do with the metal angle iron that I have on this front fence, and whether or not the blade might hit that. And I've got the blade raised all the way up now, and Possibly it could hit that, but I don't plan on cutting anything that deep So if you are gonna make one of these you might want to consider that and Build your front fence maybe a little higher so that there's no chance of that happening I'll probably just be extra careful with this one. The other question I got a lot of was why would you build a crosscut sled instead of just using a miter saw and really if you have a miter saw that gives you perfectly accurate cuts you probably don't need a crosscut sled. And finally there were some questions about the rudders and why I use plywood and I use plywood because it's less susceptible to expansion and contraction and I know that in the past when I've used solid wood runners, even maple, that in the winter time when we get a lot of rain here and it, or, and it gets humid, they really do swell up and it makes it almost impossible to slide through the table saw. I think the best solution would be to use plastic. If you can get that hard plastic that they make some cutting boards out of, I don't know what you call that stuff, then there would be no chance of expansion and contraction, and it would probably slide really easily too. I want to thank all of you at Patreon again for your support, and I hope you enjoyed the preview I gave of this project. I hope to do more of that, uh, being able to spend a little bit more time talking about the project with you before I post the actual video. This is a really crazy month. I'm going to have to take some time off. We're going to go down and visit some universities. Wyatt has to decide what school he wants to go to out of the ones that he's been accepted to and he has to make that decision by May 1st so we're going to we'll fly down to Long Beach he wants to check out uh, 
California, Cal State, Long Beach, and we're gonna go tour UC Santa Cruz also. He's really interested in going there. That's a real exciting time. I'm really looking forward to seeing what school Wyatt decides he wants to go to. Hey, all of you Breaking Bad fans, are you, are you watching Better Call Saul? That show is pretty good, isn't it? Wow, it's I it's I think it's just as good as Breaking Bad, really. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this show progresses. And it has Michael Meehan in it, Michael McKeon. You know, he was in Spinal Tap, and he's in a lot of those Christopher Guest movies. And it, here's a fun fact about Spinal Tap that I just learned the other day by doing a crossword puzzle, was that if you go to the Internet Movie Database, the rating on that movie goes up to 11. Another funny thing that happened early this week was the Justin Bieber roast on Comedy Central. I don't know if you happen to see that. I'm sure they'll be rerunning it if you get a chance to watch it. It was really funny and just to see Martha Stewart on there roasting Justin Bieber. But the highlight for me was Snoop Dogg because I, I really like Snoop Dogg and man he was really hilarious on that. A couple of other shows I've been watching too that I really enjoy is The, the Last Man on Earth and iZombie. iZombie might be hard to find. It's on the CW network. I don't know what that is, but I, I like it a lot. It's, it's a different take on the whole zombie genre. And it's kind of funny. And that's my TV watching <laughs> report. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.